Hey again, it's Jason Freed from 37 Signals, and today I'm going to show you a brand new feature in Basecamp 4 called the Lineup. Now, the Lineup addresses a weakness that's been in Basecamp for a number of years, which is um, it's been sort of hard in Basecamp to get a bird's eye view of all the projects that are currently in play. Now, we've always had this home screen here. The home screen, of course, we've changed over the years, but it's a collection of all the projects you have access to. That doesn't necessarily tell you what's being worked on right now, or if this project is current or past or coming up in the future, right? So this is just a collection of projects. There was also ways to get some of this information by looking at some reports or an activity stream, but we didn't have a really good bird's eye view that you could just go to and at a glance have a really good view of what's going on right now. Now we do, it's called the lineup. So let me show you how it works. You go up to the lineup here, and what you get is a timeline view. A bunch of weeks to the left and a bunch of weeks to the right and today always straight down the middle as a vertical line now today happens to be wednesday october 12th and that's why the date is wednesday october 12th here in this line but whatever day it is today is always right down the middle now any project that has a start date before today and an end date after today is going to show up on this timeline as a card all right so you'll see there's some different lengths of projects. These are actually real projects we're working on right now. So this is real data you're looking at. We'll take this one, for example. This one starts on the 10th of October and ends on the 21st of October, right? The project is called Cycle 5. Hey, that's the product we're working on. Show shared links. Matt's working on programming. Michelle's on design. Here are their pictures down here. So at a quick glance, I can get a sense that I know that this project's being worked on. And that we're, you know, I don't know, maybe 10% of the way through the time allotted. This doesn't show you how much of the project is actually complete. So this isn't measuring work done. This is measuring time passed. So we're, you know, 10% of the way through roughly, right? These two small projects, they start on the 10th and they end on the 14th. There's two of them. They're about halfway done, right? Here's one that started back in September 27 is ending on October 22nd. It's more than halfway done, right? Visually, I can get a sense of where things stand and who's working on what, which is really nice. Now, as a manager, this is a wonderful view. I'm gonna scroll down all the way just to show you all the stuff that's currently in play in our account. And I'll come back down and talk about this in a minute. But it's a wonderful view for managers because, for example, I'm in charge of the product basically, right? So I wanna have a sense of where we're at and who's on what and what projects are in play without having to jump in to each individual one to see where things stand. I don't wanna to have to go around asking everyone, hey, how much time is left? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how are this? How's this? How's that? How are you? All the things that you might do here and there, but I don't want to, have to do this all the time to get a sense of what's actually happening across the company. So for someone like me or project managers in general, coming in here and being able to just simply scroll and at a glance, fill my mind with a feeling of where things stand, it's a wonderful, useful thing. So a um, couple little details here. Um, let's say you've got a few projects, these happen to be three projects all starting, they started and they ending, they're ending at the same time. Let's say something came up and we had to bump all three of these out an extra week, right? It's really easy to do that on the timeline. You just click on one of the dates like that and you get a new calendar. And you can, of course, pick a new end date. Now, these are real, so I'm not going to do it. But you could quickly you know, move this out a week, move this out a week, move this out a week. Like, no big deal. Or shave time if you needed to as well. Really easy to act on these things in this view. Now, down below at the bottom, um, there's a few different styles of other things that appear in the timeline. I want to walk through what that means. So again, up top, anything that's currently active, meaning it's start and end date is between today, is the sort of large card style, okay? Down here, you're gonna see things that are coming up in the future. So if something's coming up, it's treated differently. It's not as prominent, but it's there. So you can sort of have a sense that in about a week or whatever, these things are beginning. And you can also see things that have already happened. So recently, these projects ended. Now, as long as it fits within the, the week spans we have here, right? Each one of these lines is a week. So, you know, going back about, what, six weeks back, six weeks forward, it depends on how wide your screen is, the whole thing. You'll see whatever is coming up that's already been scheduled or has passed um, at the bottom of the timeline, the bottom of the lineup. So we always show current stuff that's active at the top, 
so you don't have to go digging or fishing for it, and then future and past stuff at the bottom. Now, of course, you can get to any of these projects. This is actually a really nice sort of jumping off point by just clicking on the project and going into it. Um, you'll see here that this project, that's probably not a really, let's pick this one, there's a little bit more activity here. Um, at the top of the project, if a project appears in the lineup, you're gonna have a little timeline up at the top. September 27, October 22. Now, that's the same as right here, September 27, October 22. So that's gonna show up at the top, and there's gonna be a little vertical line here as well, a red one just like there was in the lineup. This shows you where today is on that schedule. So again, from within a project, right at the top, no digging, no fishing around, no wondering where things are. You just have a nice, tight little timeline at the top so you have a sense of where things stand and where things are based on time. Um, and to add a date to a project, a start and end date, you just go up here and you say edit project details and you can add the date here, right? And you can also do this when you create a project. So if you already know the start date and end date for a project when you make it, you can create that upon creating the project and it will be added to the top. So you get this little timeline up here, you get a big timeline here with all the projects plotted and you now have a really good sense of who's working on what, what's in play, what's just starting, what's just ending, what's coming up in the future, what just ended, how much time is left roughly on each thing that's currently going on, and it's a wonderful, helpful view. Now, one last thing. This is not a Gantt chart um, because this does not show phases within a project, and there's no dependencies here. This is simply today, what's happening, what's in play, start and end, project names, who's on it, project descriptions, and a general sense, an intuitive sense of how much time has passed and how much time remains. If you have any questions about the lineup, just post a comment down below, happy to answer. And I'm gonna be working on some more videos soon, so hopefully you're enjoying these. And uh, thanks again for watching.